and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video again today. We're going over the Madden market now. We're calling this insane part market crash part two. As you guys know, yesterday the market completely crashed from the Ultimate Legend drop, but even beyond that, it got kind of worse today. And remember, this is Sunday morning, so if it's worse Sunday morning, that means that it's going to be a lot worse as days go on. Now, here's the thing. You, you guys uh, you guys understand, it's not like a crash in the sense that, you know, things are going to come back up. Things are just going to be cheap. Pretty much after Ultimate Legends happen, things just progressively keep coming down. Not much going to recover them. We still have the Team MVPs and the Combine, but the Team MVPs, they'll recover the lower end players, like a 91 Dak Prescott, an 88 Michael Gallup, because there's going to be team MVP sets that you have to put Cowboys players into or Giants players into or Redskins. You guys get the point. Those will be recovered, but higher end cards are not going to recover too much. Even the Combine Pro will introduce their own cards again, so not much is going to really change beyond now. But for the most part, we're going to start getting a, a spew of like 96 and 99 overall cards for the next few months. And things just aren't really going to come back down. And you're gonna, they're going to stay kind of even. So it's a great time to buy, in my opinion, which is why I picked up quite a few players for all you guys making fun of my team. It's pretty up there now, at least for me. But guys, before we get into this video and we go over the second part of this market crash, guys, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Can we get 300 likes in this video? All your likes, guys, always go a long way in helping the channel grow. We're 600 subscribers away from 20,000. So, guys, let's make it happen. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Come join the family. And comment down below what you guys are, what have you guys been picking up with your coins right now? I got to actually build my stack again. I spent quite a few coins yesterday. So, as you guys know, the market indicator, the 88s, they were way down yesterday. And I don't imagine that changing for quite a while. Yep, they're 22K. And I'm pretty sure if you filter them out, they'll be even cheaper, which yesterday were like 22, 23. And now probably gonna see some 20. Yup, guys, they're about to be in the 19k range. Remember when we thought that being at 29k meant the market was crashing? How things have changed. You know, this makes me kind of excited though for Madden 21. I can't wait to be back at the beginning with like base 85s being 100k and like base 88s being 300k. That's, good. That's the fun times, guys. It's gonna be super fun when we're back at that point. Honestly, not too far away though. We're only like five months away from that. And by the time Madden's like dead, dead, we're probably like two months away from that. Time goes time goes fast to be honest. Come over to the 90s and 91s. Guys, they're super cheap. I went to go sell some 90s that I had in my binder, and I realized how much money I've lost on these guys, so I didn't even bother. But base legends, like, if you want to build a pretty decent old line, you pick up Bruce Matthews and Munoz and Kevin Mawai, like 120k altogether, you could probably end up making, like, a really stacked old line. Just in my opinion. I've been rocking with these guys until now, so if I was able to run Bo Jackson behind Munoz, you guys would be more than fine. I did just update with Walter Jones. She's an amazing value. He's like 280, 290k. An amazing value for a 97 overall left tackle blows Munoz out of the water but again that was a budgety option right there come up to the 1993s where we really start to see the impact of the market is where all the ultimate legend pieces are so those probably come in around i think 94s are there any 1993s yep there's going to be a ton of these going to be down in value just because of how many were dropped and by the way if you ever want to, like power guys like ezekiel Elliott series redux guys they're definitely really cheap right now and they will be getting a card in the near future, more than likely. I don't know where they could give Zeke a card. I don't, he wasn't like a combine hero kind of guy. He could be a Pats of the Draft kind of guy if they did if they did like LTDs for when the draft happened because he wasn't an early pick. But, guys, the one thing that's going to suck for the rest of the year, the only thing that really does kind of get us now is powering up new cards. So, guys, one thing I have to recommend is like maybe it's not always the smartest idea to power up a brand new power up chain this late in the year. Because, like, I was going to power up Calais Campbell. Well, not Calais Campbell. He's fine. Troy Palomalu. But I have to go get his Mutt 10 card that costs 380k. Like, and that's just a guy that has one card. Some people have like five or six cards already. So at that point, you have to literally pick up five or six cards. And then also pick up the final card just to get a brand new card that has plus one stats. It's getting kind of ridiculous to this point to power guys up all the way. Getting pretty expensive. So I'm just going to let that be known. And as far as Calais Campbell goes, I kind of want to pick him up. Now, by the way, guys, if you didn't watch that video, go watch that. The, uh, the method video with Calais Campbell. At this point in time, with how cheap his Redux is now, which is pretty great. You could probably pick up that new you could probably pick up NFL honors fully powered up Calais Campbell for like 450k and with how cheap everything is right now highly recommend you guys go ahead and do that if you haven't seen that video go back on my channel you'll see it's a picture of Calais Campbell very useful and send over to the 9495s and see what we're working with here so 9495s guys are super super cheap theme diamond specifically if you guys want any of these these really crash in value they did not last at all which is good because I kind of want night train lane so I wouldn't mind if they uh they came down a little bit more but these are solid, solid cards. 
as well as just the fact that if you get these all done or you pick up any of these guys they're super cheap you're getting a great value on some of these guys now i don't know if you really want josh cribs maybe or alex crumpler or doug williams but oh i guess only al cribs was that cheap but still still great values for 95 overall cards but once you get into like the 200k i wouldn't buy the 200k ones if you're gonna buy anything for 200k come up here head on over to any of these cards actually i'm gonna go show you guys the team of the years because team of the years crash are bad now not many of the 95 team of the years would i really like to have but there's some that i actually really want there's only a few though so Geno Atkins is honestly really solid. I have him. Really solid defensive tackle if you don't want to buy Warren Sapp. Now, who I really think is worth it from this is Zane Gonzalez. I don't know why. People like don't care for kickers. 97 kick power is game changing. I can make like a 52, 53 with my Justin Tucker. Even without wind, I'm pretty sure. With Zane Gonzalez, you're gonna be able to nail like a 60 yarder, which now means literally all you gotta do, like if you start, like if you get a kickoff, right? And you start at the 30, like the 20, the 30 or 35 yard line. You really only got to make like a 20 yard pass or like a 20 to 30 yards up to be almost in contention to score. You guys get what I'm saying? Like that is how overpowered the Zane Gonzalez can be. And with wind, you can score from like right in front of the midfield line. Like that is how, that is how overpowered the Zane Gonzalez can potentially be. Which is why I just want to let you guys know it's very useful because a lot of times, a lot of possessions, like obviously within the 40 and 30, you might want to go for it anyways. But there's some possessions where obviously it's just dumb. It's dumb to try to kick because you're not going to make it. And it's dumb to try to go for it because you're not going to be able to convert it. So guys like Zane Gonzalez can make that a field goal opportunity. I'll be like, I'll take that all day. Like a 57-yard field goal that I wasn't going to go for anyways. I'd take that all day in, in comparison to just going for it or punting it off. But that's just my opinion. And 96-97, guys, the team of the years are at an all-time low right now. If you want to power up any, now would definitely be the time. Like a Jason Peters is solid, although I'd still rather Walter Jones for like a 50K extra. Michael Thomas, the guy's another solid one. I don't really like his stats too much, but you can get him to his NFL honors for relatively cheap. Same with DeAndre Hopkins, Luke Keekley. Some of these guys are pretty cheap at this point. Jamal Adams, guys, super cheap now because of all the cars that came out, but I'd still rather have Troy Palomalu, guys. So you guys know, Troy Palomalu, powered up, is the glitchiest defensive card I've ever had in, uh, ever had in Madden. George, I'll, I'll get into that as we get to his card. George Kittle, again, another cheap guy. The only issue with George Kittle is that he seems very similar to like Tony Gonzalez for me but then like worse in some ways so i don't really want to pick him up just yet although i do always love a george kittle card zach martin picked him up for like 240 yesterday solid ass right guard gotta be end game guys that's the beauty of all these of team of the year ultimate legend specifically a lot of end game cards so like just pick them up and you don't have to worry about getting any other cards the rest of the year which kind of what i like about this, this is why i'm spending all my coins because once i have my team set it like once i have it set i'll just pick up one card at a time and i'll be more than okay to do so i have no problem playing like that that's how i've always played now setting up to the ultimate legends let's go check them out so howie long guy's super cheap now do i recommend him in my opinion aaron donald's better but howie long is not that far behind he's like a baby aaron donald if you powered up howie long and everything chemed him up he'd have the same speed as aaron donald well this isn't chemed obviously because you can't see the chem coming in the stream but same speed almost same excel worse strength better tackle he'd have the same play rec almost the same block shed almost the same power move and the worst investment they're almost the same card if you power them up aaron donald has him by has him slightly but still, not a bad value. Shannon Sharp's not a bad value at all either. He's kind of like Tony Gonzalez, but a little bit faster and a little bit more uh, elusive, elusive in the open field. And then Walter Jones, just a solid ass value. Now, guys that have come down to, oh, by the way, Brian Erlocker, if you don't want to put him out of the linebacker, you, I've heard you can put him at left outside linebacker. He's actually better there, which I'm going to have to do because I'm sick and tired of having Von Miller there. Now, beyond even that, guys, Troy Palomalo came down quite a bit. You see, he was three, he was 400K yesterday and so they just sold out, of course. He was just 360 guys, but I've been seeing him for 350, 360 consistently. So I recommend you pick up Troy Palomalu. No joke, glitchiest defensive card I've ever had in Madden. Look at my power to Palomalu on my team. Actually, guys, before we end this video, I'm gonna show you guys power to Palomalu on my team because I want you to see those stats. I have well, what I think these are the cards I think you need from this drop that you need with this market crash. You need Palomalu. You need Walter Jones. Those are the two guys you have to pick up, and then. With for Calvin, you need, but you don't have to buy him. Use your 96 overall power pass time. I will be dropping my power pass video today, so you'll see that you see that all like in all likelihood at some point today. But this Calvin guys is glitchy. Now the final thing I want to check out is going to be the 98s. Obviously the 98s are in game two, but they're way too expensive. But yeah, Calvin, Troy Palomalu, Walter Jones, you must go pick those guys up. Remember power pass and Calvin. Now as far as Lamar goes, I think Lamar's out of reach. I don't think I'm ever gonna have him. So I've kind of just I've kind of been content with just having my Mahomes for now. And as well as Night Trillion, I do need him at some point, but I'll probably end up using like a power pass for him. Now, guys, let me go back to the live screen before we get on this video. Hope that hope I hope um, this little analysis kind of like 
coincided with what you guys were thinking anyways. And like I said, time to buy is definitely now. I would be buying some stuff. Don't go crazy, obviously. But let's show you guys Troy Palomalu fully powered up. Just look how overpowered this card is. He has 97 speed, 99 excel, 93 tackle, 98 play rate. First off, he's literally all over the field, crazy fast. 96 pursuit, 85 man coverage for a safety, 97 zone coverage, 93 power. Guys, this card's insane. And I have 84 catching. Guys, like, do I have to do I have to talk more? 82 juke. That's it. He's, he's overpowered. And Calvin, same thing. Calvin Johnson's a monster in his own right. Another guy that's just absolutely beastly. 98 speed on Calvin Johnson. 98 jumping. 94 catching. 96 catch traffic. 99 spec catch. 94 short route running. 94 medium route running. 91 deep route medium route running. And 97 deep route running. Again, another monster. Great stiff arm. Guys, you gotta pick them up. That is about it for the video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Let's get to 20k as quickly as possible. Make sure to hit that sub button. And like I said, let's get 300 likes on this video. Comment down below who you're picking up as your endgame cards. I'm out. See you in the next video. Peace.